Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, I stood up for myself and I told my dad that I wanted to stay here, that I love swimming, that I want to be independent of my choices and be out of his shadow. And then everything went really well. And now apparently... I would want a gentle touch, or like a gentle touch. Not ape-like strength. What would you know about gentleness? More than you would. Even though I'm in the middle of the strangest tug of war ever, I still can't stop myself from smiling. They both let go eventually. But by the way, Kida. Yeah? Your dad thought that we are going to be your wives? He always says stuff like that. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. That, that's just a common thing we talk about. Why shouldn't I worry about it? It's one thing to date both of us, but marriage... Blood rushes to her face. So red that the surface of Mars looks pale in comparison. Oh, that's really red. I'm worried that she's going to faint. This is the most embarrassing thing that I've ever thought about in my life. Really? She stops as she looks over to Hiromi, who has an expression of pure bliss on her face. Huh, why? Me and Keda. Married. She practically melts at the thought. I cannot wait. That will be amazing. I'll make him happier than he's ever been in his life. Oh. Don't think you're going to be the one who gets to marry him. Oh. Competition lives on. He's still half mine, and I want that half. I didn't know that I belonged to you both. They're not listening, though. As they continue to bicker, all I can do is laugh to myself. Life's never going to be the same now these two are here. Oh yeah. If polygamy is okay in Japan, then, then I can marry both of them. Yay! I have no idea where they'll lead me. But at the same time, I don't mind. As long as it's with them. Whew. Hmm. What's gonna happen now? What? Christmas time? I mean, I just saw that Christmas tree and... Merry Christmas? Things have been so much better now. I've finally proven my talent to my dad. Yes, you did. The months went by, my studies went fine. I passed my exams with ease. Oh man, you're doing awesome. What's even better is that I'm getting closer to those two every day. I mean, they want to uh, marry me, so yeah, um, yeah. Oof, Miko is moving on from her past a little bit more each day. That's good, and I've heard that Hiromi's mother is recovering from surgery. Oh man, that's, even, that's pretty awesome too. Woo. It looks like she's getting better every day. It's hard to believe it's now Christmas. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Those two insisted that I had to do something for Christmas this year. And that's to get a tree, so we have less room to move in. My apartment. I ended up decorating my apartment with lights and a Christmas tree. On top of that, those two have been plotting something again. Oh, plotting what? Whatever it is, it's been making Miko blush even more than usual. Oh, something naughty. It reminds me of what happened at the cultural festival. They'll be here any minute. They said that they'd come early in the morning. Aw, early in the morning? Speak of the devil. I can hear them banging on the door now. Ada, we're here. Close your eyes and open the door. You're not allowed to open them until I tell you to. Oh, open what? Do, do we have to? Yes, we're, we're doing it. You've already been dressed up. Wait, they dressed up and walked all the way here? Oh, a lot of people probably saw them. So don't think you're making me waste all of that time and effort for nothing. Well, guess I'll do what they say. Let's see the surprise. I open the door for them. They bumble through and close it behind them. I hear quite a deal of rustling near the Christmas tree. Everything's in place. But this is so cold. Oh. Oh. Can't I wear... 
Shush, you spoiled the surprise. Okay, Kata, open your eyes. Ooh, I wonder what the surprise will be. Oh. What? Now that's a surprise. As I slowly open my eyes, I find that Hiromi is standing right in front of me. In a very sexy Santa outfit. Ooh. And that collar works really well for this outfit too. She's wearing a Christmas outfit complete with a cap on her head. And a mistletoe. It's not quite like any other outfit I've seen though. Really? It consists of little more than a few strips of fur covering her chest in a mini skirt. And I mean mini. Smaller than any other I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that actually looks really mini. Despite the belt, it hangs very loosely on her hips, dangerously close to slipping off at any moment. A candy cane sticks out of her mouth, shifting from side to side. Ooh, trying to be the seductive, huh? Every now and then, her tongue sticks out and wraps itself around the candy cane, licking it up and down. Well, Kata, have you been a good boy this year? I don't know, I've been really naughty with you too. I, mm. If you haven't, you should beware. Santa punishes naughty children. But, 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 but doesn't he just give them a lump of coal so that they can use it to grow stuff in the summer? And I'm going to give you a very different punishment if you've been naughty this year. Oh no. Uh, 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 and what do I get if I've been nice? I think I'll let your imagination decide on that. She leans over, looking me dead in the eye. Oh, I can tell that you've been a good boy this year. How can you tell that just by looking me in the eye? It's magic, Kata. It is? Oh. Oh, okay. Magic, I believe it. Santa knows these kinds of things. I mean, if you're Santa, I... I would believe that. She winks at me as she says that. Ooh. Since you've been a good boy this year, I've got a very special present for you. Ooh, what kind of present? I'm excited now. It occurs to me that I've been paying so much attention to Hiromi that I don't know where Miko is. <gasps> oh, Miko the present? As I'm about to look around, Hiromi steps in front of me. Hey, no peeking at your present. My present? You brought a present in here when I wasn't looking? What? How's that possible? Maybe you could say that the present brought itself in. Oh, I was right. Oh. Miko. Hey, kid. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited. I try to look around her again, but leaning to the side. But this time she sticks her chest in my face. Oh, is that the other present? Are you looking at something, Kata? No, 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 nothing. Not, no, no, and my eyes are closed. Embarrassed, I immediately look away. Now then, I think I've teased you enough. Oh, <gasps> did I get my present now? Santa has gotten you a great present this year. <gasps> I'm so excited, what's the present? She gestures towards the Christmas tree. Ooh. Stepping aside, my eyes go wide as I see my present. Oh. That, 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 this is my present? Oh, no wonder she said she was cold. Look, look at this outfit. Oh my goodness gracious. But, I love it. And, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We will find out what's going to happen next. 
So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!